frustration, having had time to rest from his ordeal, has made a full recovery, much to the relief of Cleo. It has been at least two weeks since the incident, and now the two of them are preparing for their journey across the monarchy towards the city of Veruna. It is within the city that they hope to find the salvation Trajan desperately needs to escape the clutches of the Shadow Lord. In time, if not help, he will be consumed entirely by the dark entity, and his spirit will be lost forever. To distract herself from this thought, Cleo has returned to writing in her journal, an activity which she finds brings her peace of mind. Putting her words into writing helps her to focus. If only she could carry out her task, without the interruptions of a dearest friend. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Ah, right here. Now, let's see. Inkwell, pen, pocket knife to sharpen the nib, journal. Good. I think that's everything. Oh. To think how long it's been since I placed an entry into your pages, my friend. As I pass through your pages, I can see it's been much longer than I imagined. Nevertheless, I have my thoughts, and I intend to put them down onto your lines. So... Let us begin with the latest news. I, I will not dwell upon the events of two weeks ago. They are memories I would rather deal with when the time comes. What I have to tell you is rather amusing, in fact. Something Trajan, my dearest longtime friend, suggested to me as part of our mission... It all started with one of his ridiculous schemes to try and get us closer to the diplomat. I, however, would not take it. Hey, Cleo. Cleo. I was going through one of our trunks just now, and guess what? Trajan, please. I'd like a few moments with my thoughts. It's these precious moments that allow me to reflect and focus on what has happened in the recent past. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, Cleo. I'll just be in the other room, packing for our journey, then. Yes, that would be best. Thank you. Now, where was I? Ah, oh, yes, Trajan's hairbrain scheme. It all started after he had spoken with Maximus. Uh, the full events I shall not divulge to you, my dear journal. However, since this meeting, Trajan, it seems, has become obsessed with a new scheme that Maximus is undertaking. You see, Maximus is starting his own troop. The one he had been part of as the Beast Tamer has disbanded and each member has made their own way into the world, according to Trajan. Maximus wants to begin his own troop, and Trajan, being of the sweetest heart and often distracted of mind, suggested I go undercover to find out the identity of the current owner of the Tyrant King's crown. There are, of course, several elements to this that I shall make very clear to you, my friend. That I made to Trajan on the day he suggested it. Hey, Cleo. I was packing my things, and guess what I found? I found... Trajan, please. I'm trying to write in my journal. May I please have just five more minutes or so to put my thoughts down onto paper? 
May I just have a little time to finish what I'm doing? Please. I'm sorry, Cleo. Trisha, I didn't I... mean to disturb your writing. I know how much it means to you. I'll get back to the other room and finish the packing that I've started. Thank you, Trajan. That would be best. May I suggest, if you find anything, you put it to one side, and we will talk about it later, perhaps. Yes? Of course, Cleo. Thank you. Dear sweet innocent friend, I only hope we reach Veruna in time. Now, where had I gotten up to before the interruption? <gasps> ah, yes. To start with, Maximus knows me too well. He would recognize me beneath the disguise regardless. It is true that we have crossed paths a number of times in the past. Before I met Trajan, even. Maximus is not the most pleasant of individuals I've had dealings with, and I've thwarted his plans a number of times. So I don't believe he will be so welcoming were he to notice me. Oh, he has an incredibly sharp and keen eye that watches everything. So he would be on the lookout for impostors and alternative agents. Further to that, I am not prepared to take on the guise of a Rakshaki. I am not comfortable with the idea. The thought of exposing myself like that, it actually makes me feel unsafe. Though many of them have stunningly beautiful costumes that I shall not deny. I shall not put myself in the pathway of danger to simply take on such an endeavour to gain information that we can achieve elsewhere and in other ways. Lastly, as I explained to Trajan, in his reality of his idea, I could not dance to save my life, even if I wanted to go undercover. It's not something we do in my homeland. We have dancers, yes, but we are taught that their dancers are of meaningful purpose. They tell the story of our past, our present, our future. However, it appears he may have a solution, though bizarre and disturbing as it may seem. He has a brother, by the name of Vespasian. A somewhat well-built and rounded figure of a person. It seems that he is a male Rakshaki, and may be the one we can trust to get close to the knowledge we seek. Cleo! Trajan! Cleo. Uh, I found something else. You've got to see what I've found. It's so exciting. Trajan, I shall not tell you again. If you keep disturbing my line of thinking, I will continue to become more and more distracted. This is my time to offload anything that has been bothering me for periods of time. If I don't allow myself to put it down on paper, these thoughts shall remain in my head and distract me from our work. We have a mission to carry out, two now in fact, and I need a clear mind to be able to focus on them both. But I keep finding these amazing things. Chances are, Trajan, I will remember them when I see them. But all the time you are disturbing me, I will remember them less and less. You will have my attention when I have finished my journal entry. Please, grant me the time I need to myself. And when I am done, I promise you shall have my undivided attention. You promise? I promise you, Trajan. Now off you go, back to whatever it is you're doing. Oh, 
lieve onschuldige een. Die sweet, innocent treasure. His heart is in the right place, and he has the innocence of a child. I, I just find it so hard to think how such a dark entity could... No. Let's not dwell upon that, shall we? No. Where was I? Okay, good. So as I was saying, it appears he is a male Rakshaki. And maybe the one we can trust to get close to the knowledge we seek. I have never met Trajan's brother, mind you, and it surprised me to know that he had one in the first place. However, from what I understand from Trajan's ex explanation, it appears that he is in fact more of a stepbrother rather than one of blood. I admit that I am rather anxious at the thought of sending anyone undercover to spy on Maximus, or oh, his methods of dealing with anyone he catches, can, as I have heard, be just as terrible as that which the shadow court can imagine. The difference, however, is that Maximus is a man of business rather than symbolism. So at least anything he would do would be quick, clean, and over in a matter of seconds. I, I, I still hear the screams of that poor girl in my dream. of the machinery as it carried out its dreadful task. <laughs> the cold, callous laughter from behind that skeletal mask worn by Corvus. <laughs> it, tr it truly haunts me to this day. He didn't have to go through with it. But he did to prove his point to me. It didn't make me fear him, of course. It just made me hate him so very much. Corvus is truthful and honest, but he's also cruel. I am certain he wants the power of the Tyrant King for himself. If the figure such as him were to gain possession of the crown, we will all be doomed. <laughs> Nevertheless, we have work to do, myself and Trajan. We must find the crown of the tyrant king. Yet in order to do that, we must locate the diplomat first. Then we must free both them and Trajan from their possessions. Oh, it will not be easy, but with our help, the diplomat may be able to reach Veruna safely. Perhaps we can prevent the Tyrant King from ever returning. My sisters in Ondar City have been preparing for centuries for such an event. Uh, we are not soldiers. We have never been soldiers. Combat is not part of our remit. We are passive individuals. If we do fight, we do so with the power of love. The healers, after all, are trained in the power of love magic, the most powerful of all. The Rakshaki too learn this power, yet the healers are the ones who learn its full potential. Only they are able to use it as it's meant to be used. Mm. We are preparing to raise our own networks of spies, informants, healers and mages in order to fight the darkness that inevitably will return. Mm. 
the vampires are the first sign of the potential end times. It is our mission to ensure this does not happen. I shall continue my mission to find the diplomat. Even if it was started under false pretenses. Having learned that Maximus forged the invitation to the palace, it makes me uneasy. Especially now I have confirmation he is a vampire. However... The ball has started to roll along its merry way, and both myself and Tration are getting closer to finding the diplomat, and one step closer to ensuring that darkness does not return. Uh, Cleo? Could I have some help? I've hit a snag. <laughs> Oh, Tration, what have you done now? I take it you finished your journal entry then. Mm. For now, Tration. For now. You head back, and I'll follow on to help you. All right, Cleo. See you in a moment. All right. <sighs> How do I tell him? How do I tell him the truth? If he knew his role in this is bigger than he realizes, how would he react? My dear, sweet, innocent Prince Trajan. Third in line for the Hondarian throne. Cleo has had much to think about these past few weeks, and finally being able to get it written down within her journal has given her the peace of mind she sought for. However, many other thoughts still float around. They say that truth is stranger than fiction, and the recent knowledge acquired by Cleo in the truth to Trajan's true identity is perhaps the strangest truth of all. How did she come to know such information? That will be for the future. In time, she shall explain it to her friend. But for now, they have work to do. They need to reach the city of Varuna before it is too late, or Trajan will be lost forever, and the Shadow Lord will have dominance. Time is running out. The Tyrant King is clearly no longer entirely dormant. The greatest of all battles is yet to come. <laughs>